question. Uh, and keep your hands up long enough for me to, to remember where you were. So two, three, four. Let's stop right there and go later. Go ahead, Sam. Thank you. Well, would you like to come and speak here? No. Would you like to come and speak here, give a speech? I will try my best, sir. Well, sir, I don't know if you've been to the kingdom or not. Have you been to the? Have you been to the kingdom? Obviously, obviously, you haven't. No, you did not respond. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I advise anybody who has these questions to come to the kingdom and see for themselves. I don't need to justify my country's illegitimacy. We are participants in all of the international organizations, and we contribute to the welfare of people through aid programs, not just directly from Saudi Arabia, but through all the international aid agencies that are working throughout the world to provide help and support for people. We admit, as I said, that we have many challenges inside our country, and those challenges we're hoping to address. And we reform by evolution, as I said, and not by revolution. So that is the, the, the way that we are leading. By admitting that we have shortcomings, not only do we recognize those shortcomings, but hopefully put in place uh, actions and programs that will overcome these shortcomings. I mentioned the fact that when he calls Saudi Arabia a misog misogynistic country, that women in Saudi Arabia can now not only vote, but also participate as candidates in elections and be members of the uh, Shura Council. And I'll just refer you to your own experience with your women's rights. When did your women get the right to vote? After how many years since the establishment of the United States? Did women get the vote in the United States? Does that mean that when before they got the vote that the United States was an illegitimate country? According to his definition, obviously. So until when was it? 2000, to, uh, 1910, when women got the vote? From 1789 to 1910, the United States was illegitimate. This is how you should measure things, by how people recognize their faults and try to overcome them. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rosemary Zaguero. I'm the president.